guys, welcome to the pixellab.net. This is Jordan Condell. Today I'm going to talk about the uh, the MoGraph camera shader. And when I started using this, um, honestly, I wasn't totally sure how you would use this practically. Uh, but I came up with a couple of examples of ways that you might use it that are kind of interesting. So if you guys have ever heard of MC Escher, you might know about the Drost effect. And uh, I've seen a couple tutorials in After Effects on how to do this, but nothing in cinema. So Let's kind of just uh, try to figure this out. The Drost effect is basically sort of like this. It takes an image and then sort of loops it infinitely into itself, usually kind of spiraling or rotating. It's a really, really interesting effect. And uh, here's another one of MC Escher's kind of infinitely looping sketches, which are uh, kind of an illusion of the eye, which is really cool stuff. So this kind of uh, picture right here is the Drost effect. So let's talk about how to do that in cinema. So I have a really basic picture frame here. We're gonna use this for our Drost effect. Make a new texture, and the camera shader is in MoGraph camera shader. We'll go ahead and turn the specular off for now. Uh, so if we go to our camera shader, it's gonna turn it white like we've seen with some of the previous uh, shaders. Um, and then we have this camera slot right here. So the camera shader is basically projecting um, the view of a camera and then projecting that onto a texture. So we need to make a camera. Go ahead and do that real quick here. All right, so we'll drag this camera and put it right into this slot right here. Now you're not gonna notice anything, but that's because we need to apply the texture to um, one of these uh, objects. So we're gonna put it on this front screen here and we'll go ahead and drop it on there. And now this screen is white, right? We can't see what's going on. There's actually a way that I found uh, with all these MoGraph shaders where you can actually see the texture. If you go to display and you turn on enhance OpenGL and then you go to display and turn on post effects. If we turn on the camera, let's go ahead and rotate it a little bit. And uh, you can kind of see that there's some weird stuff going on with, uh, with the texture, right? All right, let's kind of just position it a little bit off to the side and uh, maybe zoom in a little bit. Now if we turn off the camera and go to kind of our editor view, and we hit render, you may be able to see we're getting some really kind of strange shapes on that screen. Uh, let's go ahead and figure out how to make this look a little better. If we open up our material and we go into our camera shader, um, these horizontal scale and vertical scale, sometimes you need to play around with them. Let's go ahead and make the vertical scale a little bit stronger and uh, render that and see what it looks like. Ah, there we go. Now we're starting to get that Drost effect, right? We can actually maybe even make it like 250 or so. See what that looks like. Yeah, we're getting there now. All right. One thing that adds a lot is if you go into your camera, and we'll go ahead and add a little banking to it. Just a little bit of rotation. If we go back to our editor viewer, now render this. And now we're getting that kind of spiraling rotation. We could actually even increase that a little bit more. So let's kind of talk about what's going on here. So basically the view of this camera, whatever it's seeing in this camera, it's taking that image and it's projecting it and it's sticking it onto whatever surface that you tell it to. So we put it on the screen. I don't know, it took me a little while to wrap my head around it, but it's really kind of, kind of fun to play with, you know? There's a lot of different things you can do with it. Um, I'm gonna wrap this tutorial up, um, but on the next one, I'm gonna show you another really interesting way which you can use it and uh, one that might be a little bit more practical. So uh, that's the camera shader. Go ahead and play around with it and let me know if you come up with any cool ways to use it. All right, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. We'll talk again real soon. Bye everybody.